What is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you what is basically a motion sensor, I guess you could say. So, hopefully you go and collect the materials I have down in my bar and my uh, inventory here. Uh, you don't need the diamonds, you can get any stack of 64 or whatever, we're going to use that in a minute. Well, hello, chicken. Okay, so, start off by throwing a pressure plate down and a door. We're just going to build a little house around this. Hope this isn't too complicated. So, basically, so you go in here and you can't get back out. Um, so, here we go. We'll just build this simple little video, or video file. Simple little house. Okay. I'm just gonna, it doesn't really, the dimensions don't really matter. I try to do, you know, four by, uh, what is that, five. Okay, now you're gonna throw down a door in the middle here. God, these chickens, I swear, they just really wanna be a part of the video. So now that you got that, I'm just gonna quickly cut it. You don't need to see me build this real quick. All right, I'm back and I built my little, simple little hut here. This can be a room and a puzzle map or something. All right, so let me let me show you this. You just walk in here, nice little room, but you cannot get out. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna mind my way out, I guess, for now. All right, now we're gonna set up the motion sensor. Now you're going to want to follow every step or you're going to get lost and it's not going to work. So, here we go. This is a dispenser here, in case you hadn't, in case you didn't know. So, I should probably get an axe, but whatever. So, we're going to break this block here. This corner block where the exit door is. On either one of the corners, I guess. You could do it either way. Throw a pressure plate under there. Now, basically seal that off and put your dispenser one block away from it so it'll shoot whatever you want. I'm gonna use diamonds. <clears throat> shoot whatever you want on the pressure plates. No perverted comments, please. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna grab our uh, shovel. <laughs> Dig a little hole next to it. Make sure we get, uh, I think, yeah, that's the uh, pressure plate is here. So we're gonna want redstone under there. Dig next to um, this. So we're digging next to the uh, block next to the dispenser. Alright, so it's going up up here, right into the dispenser, okay? Now, you're going to want to replace this with a repeater on the third setting, okay? Now that we got that, what will happen is when the dispenser you know, shoot something onto the pressure plate, and you, what you'll be able to do is pick it up from the other side, uh, it'll shoot another one on there. Now, there is kind of a glitch, I guess you could say, on there, but we'll fix that in a minute. Now, I'm going to dig out, you see why I'm going on this side of the door instead of the other in a minute here. Okay, so, we're going to wire this up here. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> I'm not even following my my own tutorials. Okay. So, here we go. Here, up, up right into that block there. Now. Okay. So, technically right now, it's given power. I'm just going to throw redstone on it. It really doesn't matter. That door's open when there's something on the pressure plate so that when you pick it up, it closes. That is not what we want. We want it to do the opposite. So, what do we do? Jump down here, simply just throw an inverter anywhere. That, therefore, the door is shut when there is something on the pressure plate. Okay, now. That's, that's pretty simple to build, right? I'm just going to cover up the door. We're done wiring the door. Now, we're not done with this yet. I'll go around and show you what the problem is. So, they're in the room. What's going on? I'll throw some pictures up here to distract them or another room or something. But they'll be stuck on this room and not know what to do. So they're like, oh, here, I'll search the corners. Come over here. Bam, they pick up that. And the door stays open, which is not good. That's not what we want. Because we picked up everything off the pressure plate before something could be shot back on there. 
Basically, we picked it up while it was in the air before it touched the pressure plate, which means nothing got power, which means technically the door is getting power because of the inverter. How are we going to fix that? We're simply going to add a, uh, what is that, a circuit, basically, so that it keeps going around and it keeps shooting until we overload the circuit by something just sitting on the pressure plate. All right, so we're gonna dig one, two, like this, all the way to, this is the pressure plate here, giving power to this. We're gonna throw out an inverter right there, and bam. Uh, okay, it didn't go nuts, okay. We need to add one circuit, or one repeater on the third uh, tick, okay, so, now we've got ourselves a circuit, so it'll keep going. Okay, I'm on, sorry. <laughs> All right, so it's on a circuit, so it'll keep going around uh, until uh, there's something sitting on the pressure plate, which then overloads it, which is why we have the inverter there. So um, there is a blank spot always that will be going around and basically making the circuit. So pick this up and it's gonna do that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, I wonder if you can slow that down somehow because I heard the door going nuts. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just see if this works. So I'm gonna grab this. Nope, I didn't get through. No. <laughs> If you guys want to be nicer than me, you can add a, uh, like a, a repeater there so the door stays open longer and you have time to get in front of it and all that kind of good stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if this helps. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.